I'm trying to think. Whenever I started playing poker back in 2003, I put $50 onto party poker. I'm trying to think of my net worth now and if I've 800,000 times up in my entire life. And um, I don't think I have. All right, Emma with the king-queen. And Pesh with the beautiful 9-7 of spades. Does he start mixing in some three bets? These are the kind of hands when you're playing deep. You kind of want to have to mix in some three bets, especially when you're getting so many folds pre. Certainly what he's thinking of or he would have already called. But he also might feel more comfortable playing small ball, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like I don't three bet in this spot enough. Whenever I am the second or third mm -hmm. stack at a final table against one of the big stacks, I feel like I'm pretty nitty. But maybe that's a mistake. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Then again, I would have called and Pesh called, so when I play like Pesh plays, <laughs> it's probably at least okay. And he did flat this time and gets the nut flop, but this is a board where Emma should not lose her mind too much. Well, now oh, she may. Baby doll. Huge turn card here for you, Pesh to Silva. Certainly could elect to lead. Some check raises, maybe. Get those queens to start betting. But he is going to elect to bet, knowing that that queen hits her range a good percentage of the time. On the bigger side, I quite like it. 420. Into just over 500,000 chips. So, Emma's going to call pretty much every time, right? Yeah. A lot of people think in the scenario they maybe should raise to try to protect their equity or push the draws out. The problem is that when you do that, when you are beat, your opponent's never folding. Oh! Pretty much the second worst card, or the, the, the second worst card that could Pesh could hit really here. You know, a king, he's gonna have to lose a lot of money, but a queen, he might be able to get away. But he is not liking his life here. Interesting to see if he opts to make a sort of smallish. Yeah, he's going to do the block bet. So he bets 225 into a 1.4 million pot. So he bet only two big blinds. Typically, you want to do this in scenarios where you have 55% equity against your opponent's range, maybe a little bit less. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting sort of metagame stuff with this really small bet. Um, you know, they've been playing together for a few days now. There have been some pots where there have been some smaller bets on the river and some raises from Emma. Um, and maybe Pesh deduces that she won't go for the bluff here. And he's going to be able to find out really easily. Well, you say that. <laughs> we know Emma likes to bluff. And there aren't a whole lot of hands that make sense to raise here besides exactly a queen. And to be fair, Emma could have all the queens, right? She would check back flop with ace, queen, king, queen, queen, jack, probably. So she could have them. But Pesh is a bit wild. Emma's a bit wild. When you have two wild childs against each other, they inevitably may start hero calling each other. Is there ever a world where Pesh jams? That would be insane to jam here. Right? Emma could just have... I mean, which, could she ever have queen nine? I don't know. Oh, he is going for it, though. <laughs> wow. Using the nine and the seven as blockers. Whenever you do lead tiny on the river like Pesh did, it's important to make sure you do lead with some nut hands small. Not a lot of your range, but a tiny portion of your range. But this is definitely not going to work, I would not think. Yeah, I don't think this sizing um, is going to be enough. If he really wants to tell this story, he's going to have to make it so she's going to have to call off half her stack. Uh, I think it's, a, I mean, it's, it's obviously a really brilliantly creative play, but he does recognize he's trying to get her to fold a queen, and, and he's just saying that he has a full house, which is, you know, very hard to have. 
Um, also, you know, we do have the 10-8 and the and the eight five to consider, and that's that's obviously a big big consideration, and that's really what he's repping. Um, so I should I should I should you know preface it by saying that um, certainly difficult for him to have a full house when she has a queen. This would be so awesome if it went through. Even then, he may not raise with pocket sixes, right? Because she could just have a slow played nines or sevens or a random queen nine that decided to play it oddly. And she did not fall for it. I don't think there's any way Emma could conceivably fold this when all of these draws miss like this. There are just so many potential bluffing hands, yeah. and Pesh is not afraid to it's bluff. It's just a very unique situation that Pesh is in there where he has, where he blocks sevens and nines, where he feels like he can, he can kind of rep it because he has both of those mm -hmm. boats with those two cards. Um, he knows of, Emma doesn't have and a boat of course, very often. And, and, and I think that a four bet in the river is is pretty reasonable uh, with the straights as well because of the bet sizing. Like, you know, when he bets 200, she's going to raise a queen and then he can comfortably raise a straight. Do you sure. know what I mean? Sure, yeah.